What's up guys, this is Lord Aizen, welcome back to Animus Central. One Piece has set the stage for Arano's Oro's big hockey upgrade, with the cliffhanger from the newest chapter of the series. As the climax of the war on Inigashima continues with each new chapter of the series, the final fights of the arc are reaching their respective climaxes as well. Both Zoro and Sanji have made their mark by taking on the final two lead performers, King and Queen, and both of them are struggling in their own way. But as we have seen with Sanji unlocking a new power, Zoro is getting ready to unlock his own as well. The previous chapter saw Zoro struggling to do any real damage to King, as the fighter had brushed off all of his attempts, but Zoro refused to give up. Making matters worse for him, however, was that Odin's former sword Enma began to act up once more and started draining Zoro's hockey at the most inopportune moment for Zoro than ever. But with the newest chapter of the series, Zoro seems to get a hang of Enma's hockey drains and gets ready to make a huge hockey upgrade of his own by channeling his newly acquired Conqueror's hockey into his blades instead. Chapter 1033 of the series continues Zoro's struggle against King, and it's explained that King comes from an ancient race known as the Lunarians, that can easily shake off all of Zoro's biggest attacks. He's having trouble pierced through the performer's skin, but starts to think back on how he acquired his swords in the first place. Eventually coming to the conclusion that all of these swords had sought him out, he realized that Enma was actually testing whether or not Zoro was worthy of wielding it. With this in mind, Zoro then figures out that Odin somehow wielded Enma despite it draining so much hockey at such a high level. Then deciding to dive further into it, he purposely activates his Conqueror's hockey that was first unleashed as an accident before, and starts channeling it into his swords. With this new field, Zoro is ready for the next round against King, and will hopefully do far more damage from this point forward. But what do you think? Are you excited to see Zoro unleash more of his Conqueror's hockey in this way? Will this be what helps him defeat King? Let me know all of your thoughts about it in the comments. You can even reach out to me directly on Twitter at Lord Eisenbankai. Till next time, peace.